2015's Nicole Fierro was in the courtroom as a judge decided the fate of the two dogs. Kim and Greg, the judge said those dogs must be euthanized in order to keep this neighborhood safe. And as you can imagine, tears were rolling down the faces of both neighbors and the dog owners who all live here. <sighs> this is victory today. A sigh of relief after months of fear. A senior citizen attacked and cats mauled to death. We were vindicated and our babies were vindicated. Brenda Matthews says she and her neighbors can walk outside and feel safe again. A judge ruled two terrorizing dogs won't be released back into their community. The third was already euthanized months ago. Selena Jones, one of the dog's owners, told us back in February her pets were not killers. Can no one in this neighborhood ever say, I caught your, cat, I caught your dog, bite me, uh, killed this person, or bit this cat, or fought this dog? Nothing, no proof. Today, a judge ruled Jones and her husband were guilty on a dozen charges relating to their dogs getting loose on multiple occasions and ordered the dogs euthanized in two weeks. If the Joneses want to fight the decision, they'll have to pay $6,000 to keep the dogs alive during the appeal process. And I hate that the dogs have to be euthanized, but at this point, I don't believe that there's any other choice. Neighbors told the judge they think the owners have another dog at home. The judge say they better keep it locked up or she'll make sure they never have another pet in Mobile again or try her hardest to do that. Reporting live from Greenwich Hills, Nicole Fierro, NBC 15 News.